We're here with Leon today. Andrew Leon got first place at Philly Regional. What'd you play? I played Cash Tira. Cash Tira, look at that. Sure did. All right, you wanna get into this profile? Yeah, it's two in the morning, I'm ready. It is two in the morning. All right, well, I guess we'll start with the spells. Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, three field spell. Three field spell. Three e telly card. That's not a quick play. Three birth. Three pot. And probably arguably the best card in my deck. Three salesman. Salesman, huh? And then two lance and the one terraforming. How good was salesman today? Honestly, every time I every time I saw it, um, and I was going first, and I said nib. I felt good. Yeah. I felt like everything was everything in the world was going to come together. Look at that. And then uh, it, so, but re but really, no, it was actually really good. Uh, there was a good handful of times that uh, my opponents, I'd ask him, I'd ask him, you know, like, did you have the nib or you know, I'd ask if I used sales ban, and they said they did. So it did make me feel pretty good. There was a couple of times I went second, and it kind of mattered. It baited out a toad, and. I'm trying to remember. There's one other time where it mattered, but I don't remember what I'd said. I'm also very tired. Yeah. But all, all in all, I really like this card. There's a lot of people that probably like would want to run something else, or or you know just opt to play something else or whatever, which is fine. This is just like a personal thing I tried out, and so far I've been liking it a lot because the idea is as long as you just don't get nibbed, or I mean I guess you can call ash or something, but you really want to say nib because that card just breaks your board. Um, you play, and if they just have other outs like you know Lava Golem or something, then they have it. But even then, they still have to play through your other stuff. And I'll get to more stuff about why I don't also lose to Nib and uh, Lava Golem later. Mm -hmm. but yeah, this is pretty. And this is just for again like the Book of Eclipse, you know, I guess trap decks, you know, that kind of stuff. So you don't just auto lose. You like the Lance? So yeah, this this came up all right today. It wasn't like amazing, but it, it definitely had its its moments where it was like, okay, it's, I have Lance. This is great. So uh, I consider bump. I'm probably going to bump this up to three just to have you know three in there. Mm, that makes sense. And I think everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Some spell cards. Yeah, <laughs> just enough, right? All right. Uh, for the monsters, three Fenrir. Here, let me put this one here. Here we go. Yeah, the ulti. Yeah, yeah I so pulled that one. Yeah. Uh, three fins, three unicorn, uh, three little guy. I play two of the tear cash and one of the scare claw, one ogre, uh, the three lavas, and then the three ash. And then, and then I played this thing. <laughs> one astral career. It's funny because this actually came, it's funny. So everything just is about just self-explanatory and a lava golems, ashes, all that good stuff. Some people play one of this. I play two because... It makes birth live, and I just wanted a little more in my deck that, you know, extended. So I really like this one, and I do a lot of the times I have it to where uh, I already have a rise heart out, and I'll mill my opponent's three and just see what they're playing, and then they get banished, and I'll equip one if it matters and stuff like that. So I, I think two's pretty good on this. I really like this a lot. I used to, I used to run three and three. But that ended up being like just too much, so I just I just opted out of two and one. And this guy, this guy's really good, outing uh, Babuska, and um, it's just affecting generals. Nice, it's sixty or uh, twenty six uh, defense to attack with, you know. So and you can summon it off of. I've summoned it actually off of uh, the spell, and just attacked with it for game uh, with uh, within like four summons, just so I could you know get past Nib when I didn't have the out for it or nothing. So really good card. And then this thing. Uh, <laughs> so this was just a really cool extender. I'm probably going to take it out for that third uh, Lance. I mean, I like it. I don't think there's a problem running it, but it's, um, I mean, it's not super great, but it's not, like, bad. But the fact that it, my uh, monster couldn't be destroyed by battle mattered because I gave him a Lava Golem, and I had a, a Mine Hacker, and I had two monsters. And, um, you know, I had to attack over. I used, I think it was Fenrir, and I already used his effect for the turn. So it had, I had the field spell, so I had 3k attack, so I crashed, I kept it, and then I attacked with Fenrir uh, for more damage, and then I went for, I then went for Zeus. So I got to keep my Fenrir, I got rid of his board, attack for damage, and like, it just all mattered in the end, it was great. So, Pretty good. that came up, so. 
it made me feel a little validated this was in my tech, but it's probably coming out. But uh, I think some people also run two of this. I think it just max out on it, you know? This one. Yeah, because yeah. hard drawing is not that bad. Normal summoning is not even that bad. You don't want to, but if it's what you got, it's what you got. It makes birth live too. Mm -hmm. If it's if you have like a deadish hand and your birth is just chilling there. And then some people don't run the ogre. And I fucking I love this card. I really do love this card. Um, it searches the trap that I think other people are. You're about to see here in a second. Um, you know the 28's nice uh, monarch stats. <laughs> Uh, stats? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a water. <laughs> it's a water monster. No, but um, it, <laughs> I, I've activated the effect to look at their top five, and it's been honestly, it's been pretty sweet. You know, look at the top five, pick one, you banish it. You know, it goes back in the same order, but you know, it, it kind of, it's I don't know, it's just really nice. Every time I resolved it, it was just sweet. You know, and it's just um, if you're doing your combo. There's a good amount of times you just end up getting this guy out anyway, and you just search the trap. Anyway. It's it's like an add-on that works out great. I don't know. It, I think it's great. I personally love this card. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Almost done. <laughs> These guys. Only traps I run. I don't run imperms. I would consider running imperms, but I think I like the deck as it is at the moment. Um, this guy, obviously self, uh, self explanatory, uh, this, this card has done me wonders. So I run this for like a, a couple of reasons. So if you get nibbed and you have like birth and, and you have the good setup for it, or if you just have this or search it in general through your combos, it makes, it just makes your board better. You know, they nib you, they give you a token and then you have this thing. You just summon from the banish, you summon, it summons from the banish of the hand. So, you know, if you have something, if you have like an extra fender in your hand or you got, you know, your banish zone, you just summon a guy back and it makes it to where you don't like auto lose to nib. And then it makes all your other cash tier cards live. And then I was playing against, I played against um, two Labyrinth decks. And this, dude, this card was so sweet. There was a lot of times where they like chained cards to where when I looked in their hand, like they summoned them first because I think I was my turn, so I had priority. But it was still cool to do it. And there were still like times where I used this and my opponent was like, what's it do? And I'd look in their hand and I'd rip a card. It, it all was great. So I think this card is very underrated. Do you need it? I guess not, but like there's like, I feel like there's no reason not to run it, especially because it's searchable. You know, and then you can banish it off of like, you know, your cash cards and then add it back with uh, the spell or whatever when it gets banished. So I, I personally really like this card. I think this card's really good. Sounds solid. Oh, all right, extra. I'll get my links, I guess. I got these guys. Uh, this will probably be Link Karibo. The, the only reason I run this was because on my turn when I use it for uh, Ib, because I side Ib. Um, if I put everything in defense, it can't attack over it. Even with a field spell, I just use it, make something indestructible, and then he can't, you know, he can't attack over it and he just keeps the Ib unless he has the out, which I think most people will have anyway, because people are running, I think, two Link Karibos. I saw a couple people run two Link Karibos in their extra deck, so this will probably get swapped out for Link Karibo just because I might as well run it myself. Mm. I've been seeing a lot of people playing two Link Karibos to... Yeah, yeah, because you could rip one, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, they they need to the out it, so it's it's very relevant. Uh, <laughs> BLS because uh, if you're playing against like Scareclaw or uh, something where, because you can't out the Scareclaw Link Three, this deck literally just can't out it at all, unless you have this or something else that I guess outs it. But this is basically the only out to that card, and sometimes this is the only out to other cards too. And they're all level seven, so it makes it, you know, indestructible and all that good stuff, targetable. So I think this is a, a must. I was running the Link 2 guy that pops a card, but that that pop can get outed to so like you kind of get fucked. If they have the if they they have that new card that uh makes it like indestructible and stuff, and you can't target it, so. I don't know. I just think the BLS link's solid to just have. You know, Banish just doesn't target. We all know it does. And then this guy, because, you know, you banish it off of Prosperity, you equip it to uh, Arise Heart or whatever. 
makes yeah, it immune from destruction. Kind of it's all right. I, I didn't run into any. It's um, free. I mean, you know. I mean, you know, it's free. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well do it. Um, it, it did come up in theory in one game where I should have equipped it where it would have mattered, but I won anyway because my bandage zone was like a bunch of cards. I forgot I had face down ones under the face ups. <laughs> but um, I mean, First it is place, relevant. Everybody. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it is relevant though, you know, when they have Raigeki or I guess Lightning Storm if they have it, you know, it's it's nice just to have in. I guess you have the space. I, maybe I don't have the space because I took out my second uh, Zeus for it. And it wasn't that bad. I, thankfully, it wasn't like super impactful. I didn't have uh, Zeus sometimes, but I should probably run two Zeus's. I, I don't think I could tell someone to not run two Zeus's. But that's, you know, that's why we run that. We got Big Eye, Draco, this guy, Red Eyes, and Moth with the Zeus. So outside of like mostly the cash chair cards and your number Diablos, I'll just show you. Two Diablos and then two of each of the cash. So these are pretty self-explanatory as well as I think these. So I think two and two is fine. I don't think you need three of either of these. You could opt to run three of these because I, there was only one time where I ran out of these. It was kind of annoying. I still got there, but it was still, still kind of annoying. It wasn't terrible though, but I don't think you need the third. So you'll probably be all right without it. Uh, these are self-explanatory. So I think most people run one, if I'm not mistaken, because I think that's the general consensus when I was talking about people with this card. But, you know, if they rip this card, I, I don't know. This card's just a great card. I've, I've had a lot of instances where I have someone to, not two in one turn, but like, you know, like follow place, and then I banish another, you know, most of their deck to where they have like five, six left. And it does come up a lot, especially in simplified game states. So, I don't know. I, I really like this card, especially like, and it doesn't matter run two at this point, but if they Winter Cherries you, um, and they Winter Cherries this before, you know, you make it and everything, this deck doesn't do too much for turn one. You just have to like get a bunch of cash cards if you can. So, which is still good, but you know, it, it doesn't feel as good as like looking and banishing, you know, up the eight cards of their deck and all that good stuff. Those effects are crazy. And then I think all this is literally self-explanatory. Attacks directly and burns, you know, time and just, you know, attacks directly when everything's just fucking there. Zeus going over everything. Uh, this, thankfully, this was cool. This finally came up. I was really happy. I, I attacked with all my cash cards and uh, he had 400 left. So I made this guy. And he didn't draw like the out, I guess, or like Lava Golem or whatever. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I lose. Because, you know, he had birth and all this other stuff to like make more plays. But I had this. So he lost. And it was lost. great. Got him. Uh, this, oh, this card's, this card's really good. I actually barely made these two. I feel like you got to have them because they're, if you, if you need to use them, they're there. So you have to run these two cards. Shout out Dragon Rulers. Yeah. Uh, but this, dude, this card... I, I took it out at one point, and then literally when I took it out, almost every game I played, I was like, wow, this card would be great. Popping a card and then banishing your uh, cash tier spell to add another cash is just so, is so good. It, it, I, I have no idea why I took this out. So this is a must. So it does suck, though, because it can't attack the turn you use it. You can't pop and then attack. But you can still just attack and then pop, so it doesn't really matter too much. But this, this card was nice. I think I think this is a stable card in every cash deck, in my opinion. So that card was sweet. Not sweet sales, man, but still <laughs> sweet. Oh yeah. So my whopper of a side deck. I got one, one TTT. I played two Lightning Storm because I didn't have three TTT at the time. One Dark Hole, one Ooh, Duster, hole, the other TTT. Those are my side deck spells. Uh, I played three Ib. For, you know, I think obvious reasons. I played the three uh, evenly and the three D-Barrier. D-Barrier came in really good today. Um, I played against uh, Sword Soul and um, the Mirror. And this came in really good. Um, 
they ended up uh, setting my whole board and everything, and I just activate, you know, D-Barrier. Oh, I played against Virtual World, too, and he ended up outing my board, but I had two D-Barriers, so it was pretty safe. So this card basically says, you, you know, if I lose a turn, you lose a turn, too. I think d is really good right now. Even in, even in the mirror, if you activate XYZ, like most of them don't do anything. So I think this is really good. Uh, evenly because, I mean, yeah, it's evenly. Breaks boards. If, uh, if I go second, I'm going first. Uh, I want that extra juice to uh, say I don't get nibbed. And uh, Cash have a really hard time outing this. I mean, yeah, again, they run the out, which is fine, but then they still have that monster and they can't just special summon out the wazoo. So. It was really good, especially if they randomly, if whatever person just doesn't have the out to this, because I think um, most branded players don't, because I think their extra is pretty tight, I think, and they might run one of the out, but even then, if they run the one out, you just, if you know you have it, you just get rid of the out, so it was phenomenal. I considered playing um, Fog King maybe in the main or side, just for the extra, you know, I don't want to get nibbed, and I don't want to lose. And, uh, what is it called, Prius Map? Prius Map, something like that? Searches these cards. Yeah, the Puri Rays? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's like running nine copies on top of your uh, pots to like basically say, okay, I don't get nibbed, and then ideally you don't brick with them enough to where you just get to play the game. And then I think all these are literally self-explanatory, except for maybe Dark Hole. Dark Hole, so actually, this actually came up, every time I drew this card, it was great. <laughs> that it wasn't TTT, and I popped like a bunch of back row or something, so this is actually pretty good. I might just run two TTT and keep the one Lightning Storm because it was like actually pretty good, but I don't know yet. That's still like up in the air because TTT is just, you know, it's really good. Maybe I'll main deck one. I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, so that's, this was actually really good. I really like this. Um, Dark Hole is mainly for... Um, the ib out for myself or if someone decides to be og and give me a fucking mushroom man too you know so if they give me something this kind of clears all that up and i mean it's dark hole you know that's it's like too. it's kind of cool that, yeah so that's why i said yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so uh you know it baits out negates or if they just have a cash tier board it's like you know there you go dark hole baby. dark hole and then, you know, Duster, because I, I feel like every side deck needs Duster. Makes sense. Yeah, back row decks and all that good stuff. I just, I love Duster. Duster is like probably my favorite side deck card. And then TTT, because um, again, you can search it. And if you just draw it, it's pretty good. So, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Take their things, draw cards. I like, I really like the game too. If they ash me or even if they nib me, if I search it and they nib me, I'm able to um, look in their hand and just kind of guarantee I don't lose. Or um, if they ash me, I set a D barrier or um, I add uh, whatever the else was it. I think it's just D barrier. Sales ban. So, yeah, as <laughs> sales ban. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I had to go in second. Uh, but yeah, but that's, that's, it. that's it for my side, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Any final thoughts on the deck or your run or anything? Um, I think this deck did great. You know, people are talking about how it just is just going to get blown out by all these blowout cards and stuff, which, you know, I mean, like it, it does, it can, but the deck's definitely adaptable. And you, if you run the right cards, you don't lose to it as much. I think the scariest thing out there is Nib and Lava Golem. And um, if you run, uh, this is why I consider running the um, Fog King is because it's it's kind of an out to all that. And some people side, I used to side, uh, what's it called? Uh, enemy controller. And that, that card's really good. Cause again, if they give you the monster, like they give you Ibby or something, you just tribute it, you know, take a guy, whatever, which I think is really good. Um, and that card kind of outs that card too. So I think a lot of people will probably start playing Fog King and I wouldn't blame them cause I think that's really good. I have to find the room in my deck to figure out if I want to play that and how I want to play that, if I'm going to main it or side it, and even run the map to make sure I get it. Because Lava Golem is probably the, outside of Nib is probably the second most scariest card. I Game game three of the last round, he did the standard cash board, he had, but he had a lot. He had like five monsters on board and like the spell. 
So I had a, a Lava Golem, Lava Golem Fenrir. <laughs> and that's what won me the game. So I was like, oh no, if he ibs me, I lose. But he didn't ib me, so. Yeah, Lava Golem's really scary. And I think everybody probably should be maining that card, which means I gotta probably main uh, Fog King. So I'd really, really consider maining that card. I, I just have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with that. But other than that, no, this deck performed really well. Um, every time, you know, I think I only bricked twice like actually bricked twice and I lost those games, but then I won the next two. So it performed really well. Um, going second, going first, you know, going first when you don't brick. And uh, every time I activated Salesman, I felt really good knowing I wasn't gonna get nibbed that turn. And a lot of people, a fair amount of people had it. So it worked out really well. It's been pretty common to see it in the main deck, you know, the nib. Yeah, I think any any deck that's not cash, even cash, because people I know people play a uh, cross out right now, which I think is still really good too. But I don't want to play nib because I don't feel like drawing it and then cross outs are dead if it's not like the mirror match unless they play Ash, I guess. So you know, it requires you to run more cards in your deck, and then if you draw those cards, you kind of get punished for it. Where I figure with sales ban, it's like okay, I drew it, I'll use it, or if I go second, I look at their board and say okay, you're playing. Branded, uh, Mirror Jade. Summon it twice, go for it. Doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And kind of go from there. So I, I really liked I really liked the salesman. I'm probably gonna keep it in my deck, but you know, if better stuff comes out, we'll see. But I, I really like that card. It's good if it's good going first and second, I feel like that kind of makes me lean towards playing that over other stuff that might just be better going second or better going first. So that makes sense. But yeah, no, deck performed great. I don't think this deck is dead at all or as bad as people say it is. Um, I don't know. It, you can blow it out, but if you don't, you're in trouble, I guess. Mm -hmm. Even if you do blow it out, you know, that's what, like, the traps and stuff for. That's what the extra stuff is for. Mm -hmm. So the lances and stuff, you know? Yeah, exactly. So yep. I think it's a 10 out of 10 deck. All right. <laughs> Got me oh, first place. Right, right. So. Well, congrats on first place, man. Thank you.